You don't know how to greet first. How are you, everybody? How are you? Fine girl. How are you? Waiter! 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 How are you? Fine, thank you. What do I give you, please? Do you have beer? Yes, we have beer. Give me one bottle of beer and serve everyone in the bar one bottle each. Because why? When I'm drinking a beer, I love everyone around me to drink a beer. Hey, okay, we call it. Call it. Thank you. Okay, too much money. Thank you. I said, give me a cup. Sir, what is this? This is a cup. That's a cup. Huh? That's a cup. Okay. <laughs> Should a I cup. open the drink for you? It's a cup. Do you have Nkwabi? Yes, sir, we have Nkwabi. Uh, give me one plate of Nkwabi and serve everyone in the bar a plate each. Because why? When I'm eating Nkwabi, I want everyone around me to eat Mkwabi. Bravo. Okay, that's good. Okay, sir, let me know. There you go. Uh, waiter, do you have toothpick? Yes, sir, we have to speak. Good. Okay. Give me up. Oh, how much is it? Oh. You uh, are not selling it. Okay. Give me a pack of toothpick. And give everyone in the bar a pack of toothpick. Because why? When I chop toothpick, I want everyone around me to chop toothpick. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Hey, waiter. Sir. Do you have my bill ready? Yes, sir. I would get your bill. It should be ready now, sir. Good. Bring my bill. Okay. And um, give everybody their bill. Because why? When I settle my bill, I love everyone around me to settle their... You know, please complete that one. Are you the only man to lose your bearing in life after that colossal loss? This is not your purpose, my friend. Ah, see what you have done to yourself. You have turned to smoking and drinking heavily, all in a bit to find fulfillment. But ending up putting yourself into further confusion and depression. Eh? See yourself. You are dazed and useless to yourself, to your family, and to the entire society. Eh? Hey, Ross. Ross. No worry. You're not dead useless at all. Hey. <laughs> In fact, as you did so, your head correct, eh? You correct past 10 people. You even strong past 50 people. <laughs> see, my, my Ross. Ross, you see, as you did so, nothing do you. Hey, bros. See, I should do so. Hmm? 
You know, say, you feel beat partially. Even Mike Tyson and Mayweather, you go beat this, all of them together. Even self, don't see the way they do wrestling, all of them combine, you go beat all of them. Feel it. <laughs> can I go? <laughs> yeah, bro, can I go? <laughs> Silas! 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 Mm. Eat this food now before it gets cold, though. You hear me? Because I don't want someone disturbing me in the middle of the night to come and warm food for him. I have early morning appointments at the embassy tomorrow. So wake up now and eat this food. Ha! Ah, Ross! Ah, imagine as this woman, they talk to you like, say, you be a house boy. Yeah? Imagine. The woman will be say, you travel two days on the road. The day you won't go marry her. I mean, don't forget the plenty money where her people collect from you as dowry. Ah. Say, now she don't get in mind to talk to you anyhow like this. Now she get the gods to talk to you anyhow, anyhow like this. See, we could use someone as experience. Use this woman as experience. That's a one. Silas! Silas, I'm talking to you. Can't you hear me? That's up! I love my style. <laughs> style? Yeah. Who they're they asking to come and eat to find strength. You're looking for her to slap. Oh, yeah, slap again now. Slap me. Who says? This food, you must eat it now before it gets cold. If you don't eat this food and I get back here, you'll see what I'll do to you. Useless man, look at him. Dead man walking. Brass. <laughs> Brass. Do your own. Chop your foot. Chop your slap. <laughs> <laughs> I woke you up to let you know I'm off to my YC. Hmm? You mean I slept on this spot till this morning? It's not a new thing. Eh? What, what do you mean? Dad, look, this has become one of your usual sleeping spots every time you manage to return home late at night, drunk and picking fights with mom. Sometimes you even sleep outside the gate when no one is available to bring you inside the house. To be honest, Dad, eh? I have never experienced fatherly love from you. I was only seven when you left mom and died. For goodness sake, that woman tried all that she could to take very good care of me while you were away wasting your life. And then you just showed up from nowhere, poof! After you lost your engineering firm with no money left. <laughs> and you know what was worst of it? You acted as if Everything was normal. You remember it was the last time we ever prayed as a family. God. <laughs> My prayer point for you used to be that one day, just one day you would get hit by a trailer. Or even run down by a moving train. Or worse, Dad, get crushed by a bulldozer. <laughs> because your life was a disgrace, Daddy. Your life was just a disgrace to me and the family. It would have been easy 
willing to conform to the fact that I didn't have a father. But now, now I pray to God to give you the ability to show you your purpose in life because every time I look at you, you are still a lost and confused man, Dad. I pray that God gives you the purpose in life so that you can find your way and, and become the befitting father you used to be to us and your society. Someone good for the community and the family. So that at least one day I can be proud enough to call you my father again. <laughs> Anyways, Dad. I'm off to my NYSC place of primary assignment. Oh, and just so you know, today's my 21st birthday. I thought I should tell you, even though for the past 14 years, you haven't said happy birthday to me. Uh, that is you, your lordship, sir. I have informed the people about the, the forthcoming crusade. They are willing. But the truth is that, sir, they need more money. And I don't know how to go about it, sir. Why? Why, for God's sake? I don't know. The people should even be grateful that we're asking for their land. For the miracle crusade we want to do next month. When men and women out there are even asking us, begging us, to come and use their property. Is that a privilege you are giving them? May the Lord open their eyes to realize the facts that you just stated. We need, we need our own ground in this ministry. And I believe the God that I serve, that he will grow this ministry to the point where we can afford anywhere that we want in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Fire! 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 You are in charge of security. How did this man get in here? Fire. Where's the fire? In my life, in my life. This is the cause of fire in my life. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Please, excuse me, please, roll back the way you came. Just roll back. What is the problem? So, after my daughter hit me with the sad truth about my condition before she went for our NYC, making me realize the danger and the urgent need for a change in my life. I decided to come here. I have money, but what is the essence of money when you don't have the difference and fulfillment, having lost respect from your wife and your child? In my account, I have 35 million naira. And I am willing to offer 15 million naira to this church if I can get back my deliverance and obtain my freedom from all my bad habits. <sighs> Brother, what's your name? Silas. Brother Silas. Shantara Mawara. Boja, Boja, Boja. Receive your deliverance. Take it! Receive! Receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Indeed. You are in the right place. Your deliverance is sure. And I'm very confident 
from the moment you stepped your feet into this holy ground of solution that your worries and woes are over in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen! The Spirit has even taken over this man of God here. Which is why anytime I throw my hands in the air, I release gifts and blessings into the atmosphere. When you see this honorable man of flesh, I mean honorable man of God, scramble to receive their blessings, you know that the Spirit is with us and your deliverance is assured. You're welcome, Brother Silas. We we'll give God the glory. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Excuse me, <clears throat> Brother Silas. Are you sure you give this church, I mean this ministry, 15 million naira? Yes, of course. See, promise and fail is a sin before God. He will. I can see it in the spirit. He will. He will. No, <laughs> I cannot tell lies in the presence of God and in the presence of men of God like you. Uh -uh. It is my desire, it is my vow to offer 15 million naira to this church if I can get back my, my deliverance and obtain my freedom from all my bad habits. May God fulfill his word concerning you and grant you your heart's desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor David will register you and document your 15 million naira vow to the Lord. You're welcome to this ministry. Brother Silas, we welcome you into our midst. And the Lord will continue to bless you. I don't know if you're paying attention in the church this morning. I don't know if you're listening. What the reference scripture is saying, what today's reference scripture is saying, my brother, is that some of us are worried about blowing, that we do not focus on growing. I don't know if you're listening to me. Some of us worry so much about wanting to blow that we forget to grow. I don't know if I'm talking. I say some of us are more interested in our career that we forget the career. Please, it was who is above. Please. Who administers our blessings? Ah, yes, Pastor, oh, please. Sister. Ah. sister, stop. You're not married. No, Pastor, I'm, I'm not married. Look, people have been to this altar today. This young woman just stepped foot here and something in me moved. I don't know what you're believing God for, but today is your day of blessing. Amen. Look, brothers and sisters, this sister came out just like every other person this morning. She was not expecting something special to happen. It is not his human nature that brought her out, but the Spirit of God yes. who has seen her looking, who has seen her second. Yes. Maybe it's not even the time. Maybe she's not worried. She's not even expecting. Yes. She's not even anticipating. Please. But God has said that today, yes. receive your husband. Receive it. Yes. Yes. into your life. Yes. Before the end of this year, you're going to get a proposal. Amen. <laughs> you're going to be before this altar and exchange vows. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Church, <laughs> so please open with me quickly. Open with me. Let me go back to the scriptures. Open with me to the book of Luke 12, verse 4. Church was awesome today. <laughs> Did you see what happened? Oh my God. I thank God for your husband. Did you see the preaching today? I did. did you see what happened in church? <laughs> God really used your husband. 
all the young boys and girls were coming out, receiving their blessings with their monies. <laughs> Honestly, I was overwhelmed. I didn't know Pastor David had all the great anointing to pick for me. I know. beg your pardon. Elvina, how can you say such a thing about a man of God, more so my own husband? Oh, I didn't mean it that way, I'm sorry. Ah, it's okay, sisters. Let's not go into that. As a matter of fact, God's blessings, anointing and gifts are the hallmark for any man of God. Anointing comes anytime, anywhere, okay. anyhow. I thought she had gone before now. Why is she still walking up and down? Wait, oh, were you expecting her to leave when all the money collected to do was bulky? Of course, she was supposed to stay to make sure all that money is adequately counted, collected, and duly recorded. <laughs> that is what GEO Mom is known for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That woman likes money too much. <laughs> like, seriously, must she oversee the church fund that much? Uh, must she make it obvious to everyone that she is the GO's wife? Uh, well, please. I can yes. feel some scosco beefing here. <laughs> Are you beefing her? Me. Doreen. Beef who? Uh, For okay. what? Okay. Please. I am just stating the obvious. Okay. okay. She should just take it easy. Come on, any of our husband could own a church someday, you know? Amen, oh. That is what we're praying for. So our dear mommy, G.O., should not think that the book ends at her table. But wait, oh. You and your husband have been a part of this ministry with daddy and mommy, G.O. Elvina and I and our mm -hmm. husbands just joined the ministry. So? So you should know her better than we do. Anyway, I just can't stand her stress. I'll see you ladies some other time. Ah, Madam Skarska, the BBC. Bye. <laughs> I was so thought when Pastor was telling me the story of this man. Hmm. You mean Nibras Yes. He's one of the lucky ones. Hmm. For him to realize and make a turn to God before it's too late is great. Millions of people don't even realize until it's very late. Adi, you're very, very right, sir. There is a lot happening out there in the society. I just pray God give him the strength not to forget the promise of 15 million he made to the church because that money is very important to our ministry. <laughs> and also important to God. Adi, my apologies. God first. <laughs> How is your wife? I've not seen her for some time. Even at the last pastor's wife's meeting we had, she wasn't there. Well, have you tried calling her to know why she's been absent? In fairness, I have not called her on phone. But you know I've been very busy too now. I know you are very busy. You know, but besides the fact that Pastor David and Doreen are our closest friends, I think you should put in more effort towards you know, reaching out to the pastor's wives. You know, so that we can keep the flock together. We've been preaching love. We must be seen to practice it. Hmm? Daddy. <laughs> but, but mommy has tried because it's not easy. It's meeting with the women after service, one woman's meeting to the other. This woman wants to see her over family problem. Mommy's trying. I understand. Mommy's trying. Uh, mommy, she traveled to Abuja for a modeling photo shoot and she'll be back next week by God's grace. Uh, she must be doing very well in her fashion modeling business. Yes, Daddy. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope this uh, modeling job does not distract her from the work of God. And considering the fact that she's a pastor's wife. Mommy, well, mommy. <laughs> church I don't know about you this is the only church in the whole wide world where God takes ordinary people and he turns them into extraordinary individuals today I want you to put your hands together as we welcome yet another great testimony of what God can do in this place <laughs> 
Our brother Okorojo, whom the Lord has taken from nowhere and he has brought him somewhere alive. Put your hands together as we welcome brother Okorojo for his testimony. God bless you. Everybody, God. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor. This church, God day here. God day. If I tell on the big thing where God don't do for me, hey, hey what well, I'm not gonna believe. Oh. I said they like this. My belly, Pastor, my belly, they sweet me. My belly, they totori me. Pastor, before I continue, I want to ask. POS at this place. Ah, we have POS machine. Go, go. We have go. the EM machine at the back there. Just in behind mm -mm, there. Mm -mm, and mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know they talk about ATM. Because what see I won't give big. They don't need to see them. People feel friend too. If they see what see I won't give, he heavy. Big money. <laughs> because of the big thing we God do for me. I, I agree with you in a way. Mm. But you know what we do mm. here? Because mm. you know, we don't want people to think that we are doing magic here. We want the members to see. It's, it, it, it's more like an encouragement to them. We've been praying for this. Mm. And now that it has happened, it's good that we let them see it and to encourage them to do more. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Pastor, you, you, not, you never understand me. For security purposes, I not want to make people faint. They think when they talk so too big, they don't need to see them. Hallelujah. Okay, uh -huh. uh, can I get your ATM? I'm sure, uh, okay, I mean, Maybe your brother is planning to give like five million, <laughs> seven million, maybe more. Not good there, not good. No good there. That's how they're gonna error. Zero zero. For my bank account when they talk so, I get three thousand for there. I can't leave two thousand. Make it first cool. Make it sleep for there. As I do and I collect one thousand come. From inside the one thousand, I won't give God three hundred. They appreciate them for the big thing when they do. Then the remaining 700, you know, say that we can be this. I want you to wage my conscience. So, so my prayer point now be set as I they give God that 300, make it do big thing for me. Now, so. If there's anywhere on earth God resides, I say it's in this church. Hey. Brothers and sisters, I say this because. I can feel the power of God in this church through which I have been able to get a good job with a very big salary <laughs> after so many years of joblessness. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Church, isn't that wonderful? You can imagine this sister has been jobless for so many years. But after a fervent, tremendous prayer from this altar into her life, she just secured a job with a fat salary. Wonderful. Sister Ryder, do not forget your tithe. As a matter of fact, Pastor, yes? I'm not only going to pay my tithe, I'm also going to give my first fruit salary, which is 8,500 Naira. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you can drop it there. Uh, drop it, drop it. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! As you can see, we are behind time. The, the Lord is your strength. I don't suffer. So, but I believe my coming here, uh, obviously there's a solution to my problem. Hallelujah. Uh, because immediately I step into this place, I felt the anointing all over me. <laughs> Amen. We oh, praise God. Daddy, by the grace of God, next month I will be 45 years old of age. And I don't have a woman in my life. The ones that come around me, Daddy, they get coma. Mm, they get coma. Either they get a uh, bad high. Or the high, you know, they look straight. Or they're short. Or they get bad legs. How do you notice all these things since you're, you don't see? Yes, Daddy, I have inner high. Uh -huh. They say we declare the road now, uh, you know now. And uh, that they also have a spec, I have a spec. You have what? Spec. For ladies, and uh, spec for ladies. And uh, the kind of ladies I like, daddy. Um, the girl must be tall and uh, yellow, with good things for her front, and um, with very tiny waist, and uh, sexy waist. Uh -huh. And uh, go get hips, hips. 
you know, and they will get flat tummy. And the tummy go flat like a blade. And then uh, get one interesting part again. And the lips. Uh, you will get red lips. And sexing lips. Sexing lips. And um, the girl will get like a two mash on. One for Banana Highland and uh, one for Asokuro for Abuja. And you will also get uh, two uh, G Wagon. And you will give me driver too. With the Karimugu Club. The good groove. It's enough, it's enough. Um, in that case, your problem is very simple. Mm. You will have to fast for 60 days and 60 nights. Jesus! 60 days and 60 nights, daddy. You don't want a beautiful girl that is rich again? Oh, 45 years of suffering, two months in solution. Uh, that is you. I go fast for five years. Mm. Five years. As I enter the crusade ground in Ghana, I, can, I, I just couldn't believe what I saw. That Pastor Sylvester actually pulled a crowd of nearly 20,000 people. That's a lie. It's a lie. A big hey. lie. That's some money. Money. How did it happen? We need to encourage our members to give. Yes. I don't know why our people are so stingy. They have money. They should give it they and know that the Lord God. will bless them. They Thank you robbers. very much. They are robbing God. They are robbing God. And we need to. Excuse me. Who are you? How, how did you get past the security to come here? What are you looking for? Good, good evening, sir. Sorry, I just asked a question. How did you come in here? Who are you? Who are you looking for? What do you want? Uh, I, are you hungry? I, co 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 for food, food. Come, 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 come. You get hungry. Eh? How take how you take us on us? I mean, how you take us on us? You get hungry. Come, let me tell you. We don't run a charitable organization here. At all. Exactly. This is a church where people come to give to the Lord, and when they give to the Lord, they receive blessings. This is not a charitable organization. I know. So? Mm -hmm. Naim make I come. Naim make you come. Okay, so Naim make I tell you now, say, make you follow the same way where you follow, come here now. Follow him, follow the door, come out for here. You need to get out. As a matter of fact, I don't even think you're hungry. You don't look hungry. I think you're a lazy man. You need to go and get something to do. Please, get I, out. I said my condolences. The next person is Miss Gloria Okeke. Gloria Okeke. Yes, Pastor. Your mom lives in Anambra State. Ihiala. You have three sisters. Two are in school and one is seeking admission. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you. Pastor, everything you have said is absolutely correct. But Pastor, how, how come you know all this about me? How? Do not doubt the revealing power of the Holy Spirit upon oh the man God. of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Pastor, you are truly a man of God. Yes. I believe in you. I believe in this church. I believe that God is going to use you to do great things in the lives of his children. Pastor, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Gloria. Yes, Pastor. Surprise God. Open the gates of your blessings. I want you to sow a seed that will cause confusion in the kingdom of darkness. So a seed that will liberate your blessings. That will cause confusion in the camp of the enemy. What can you give to God? Actually, Pastor, at the moment I don't have any money. 
Yes, I don't have any money with me. Can you fast? Of course I can. Fast for seven days and see what will happen. Ah, fast for seven days? Um, but Pastor, there must be something God has shown you about me. Hey, some prophecy. Please, Pastor, there must be something. Go and begin your fast. Next. Uh, brother, look. Your story is very unique. When we are expecting God to intervene and bring solution to our problems, we should also be prepared to, you know, sow a seed of faith that will open the doors to your blessings. I know that uh, things are tight and the situation may not be favorable for you. I would have asked you to challenge God with a, a seed of faith, maybe like a millionaire. But not to worry. You can start with 50,000 naira. Can you do that? Definitely, I'll do that. Good. Out of that 50,000, your father is in the village, right? Yes. Good. Send him 5,000 naira and bring 45 to the church. And you'll see what God will do. I'll do that. <laughs> Why the smile? Mm. Gio, sir, I am smiling because you misjudge my disposition. The man sitting before you is worth over 30 million naira in, in various banks. Well, that is only cash. I'm not talking about the properties lying all over the places. But it's okay. I will bring in the 45,000 naira tomorrow. <laughs> canal minds and canal understanding. When I was uh, referring to your financial situation, I wasn't talking about your present state. I was trying to make references to your future. I've seen millions in your future. Amen. Amen. Okay? Amen. But, uh, Go ahead and do the 45,000. Okay. Start with the 45,000. I'll bring the money tomorrow, sir. Mr. Joe, sir. Yeah. I'll bring the money tomorrow, Let's sir. Let's see. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I can't, I can't hear you well on this one. I can't hear you. Hello? What are you people doing there? You, you didn't give me complete information on this man. If I don't tell you, you don't, don't you know your job? How can he be? How can 45,000 out of 30 million? That's ridiculous. No, 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 I'm very upset right now. No, I'm not backing down. Thank 30 million, my dear. I'm not backing down. But I'm, 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 I'm demoralized. If I don't tell you people what to do, you don't know what to do? Do your job. Daddy. Yeah, the young man coming, his name is Johnson Efani. He's a banker. He's stepping up now to come to see you. Over. Brother Johnson, you are a banker. Your wife is pregnant and unemployed. Uh, your mother corrects, Daddy. In fact, that's actually why I'm here, on account of uh, my wife's unemployment. You see, she has written to several firms and establishments for a job, but all to no avail. I've been hearing and seeing all of the miracles and healings you've been performing in this place, and that is why I'm here today. Since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taken by force. Do you believe that, my son? I believe so, that, Daddy. Abraham was a friend of God. He was willing to sacrifice Isaac, his only son. 
And that singular gesture made him God's friend. Are you willing to make a painful sacrifice that will tilt the hand of God in your favor? You're going to sow a seed. It will hurt. But it will open the floodgate of blessings upon you, your family, and your situation. Sow a seed of just 3 million naira. And watch what God will do. The next man coming, there's no details about him at all. There are no details. No records, no that at all. I don't know what it is, but it does not seem good to me. I don't know what that veil is that is over you. I don't like it. Um, Gio. Bless you. Daughter of Zion, you're welcome to church. <coughs> Bless you. Carl, let me just help you park your car properly. Yeah, man, but I saw no do it over here. Uh, yes, come on. We're just trying to be, you know, very, very. Are we the man of God today? Man of God is Jesus. Okay. Inside. Inside. God bless you. You go and bring the key for the eyes still. Son. All right. God bless okay. you, daughter of Zion. Santa! You've given us powers over principalities, over serpents, scorpions, over negative spirits. Lord, this young man has come before your throne of grace, seeking solution, whatever fails him free. Jesus. You're going to pray every midnight. Say your prayers every midnight for the next six days. I want you to pray because what I, the feeling I'm getting, I don't like it. But we have prayed. Every midnight for six days, pray. Okay? Uh, and uh, let me see you again next week. Thank you, Gio. There's someone here. You drove to this fellowship today in a, in a Toyota car. I see... I see a Toyota Corolla. Yes, I jam, messenger. Me depend on the place, me come here with a Toyota Corolla car. Is that you? Yes, I jam, messenger. You will not die. No matter what they have planned. Because your feet is upon this holy ground, you will have life. People are wicked. I don't know who you have offended. I don't know who you have offended. I don't know what you have done. But because you were headed to the house of God, they did not get you. And they will not get you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody has planted something dangerous for you. Reason, I do not know. But because you are here today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are safe. Pastor Isaiah and Pastor Joshua, follow her to her car. Anoint your hands, check under the seat. Check under the seat. Whatever you find there, bring it. Bring it. Quickly. People are wicked. Father, Lord. I just need to call. Yes, yeah. yeah, man. It's open already. I want to go on. I want to do my car. We okay. can't understand this, man. What, what, what's going on? I can't take a minute no more. Me say, who put this wove up on me car? I want to go on about this. I pure dibby dibby random clad this. Blood clad shit this, man. What you say? Every liar. Blood clad. I want this. This is a pure item. Okay, Can we go random clad, right. man. My daughter, 
the strange spirits that you encounter in your sleep at night is a function of how you have treated the temple of God, which is your body. Yes, yes, yes. Something very, very hopeful. Yeah, this man that is coming now looks like a very wealthy man. The car he is driving, oh my God. Some very impressive pot belly. No, no sir, no, sir, not yet, sir. <clears throat> we should be able to. Okay. Yeah, we, we should be able to send you some details in the next uh, two or three minutes. Then. Yeah, two or three minutes, you have all the details about him. That is why we must be careful about the people that we interact with. We must be careful about the people that we interact with. You're going to give me a few minutes, okay? Just go sit down, let me attend to a very pressing issue. I'll, I'll get back to you. This way, sir, please. Yes. Master, please. Okay, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for the short notice. Okay. <laughs> um, my brother, I took a little time out of my busy schedule to see your program on television. Oh, yes, our tele evangelism. <laughs> oh. Thank yeah. you for making time to watch. You're simply too much. I hope you were blessed by it. If what I saw there. Uh, it's real. Eh? I'm impressed. Yeah, you see, our God is sufficient enough to meet each and every one of us at every point of our need. Wow. You're in the right place. See, um, my sister runs a home for mad people. Okay. And then it's eating deep into her life. She doesn't have another thing to focus on. Her marriage destroyed everything. All she knows is just destitute and less privileges. So does no longer come. So what I just look into it and I decided to put up a little a little distraction. Uh, pulling out about eight members of the mad people to come here. Oh, are, are they here now? No, they will come here any moment from now. There's, there's nothing our God can do. Amen. Yes. He's given us authority over principalities and powers. You're and here, nobody walks in here and lives the same. Real madmen or actors? Do these people look like actors to you? Look at the sheepish smile on their faces. Look at this intensely moronic stare on their face. Oh, Jesus Christ. This, this, these, are, these are incredibly mad people, as in mad, mad, mad people. Jesus. I just don't know how the G.O. is going to handle this madman. I don't know how Daddy will handle this. I think we need to go down to the auditorium to see things for ourselves. I have a budget of 10 million naira for this. Spirit speaking, speak, brother. I, I don't know, please, I don't know what to do. Because of course, like I said earlier, I have a very busy schedule. So yes. I might not have enough time again for, oh, I, for I, this. I, I totally understand that. Yeah. Uh, you see, we are 
a well-structured organization. Okay. And um, ordinarily, I would have said, um, go to our logistics department. Okay, because since you have about eight people, yeah, uh, yeah. they need to be quartered and take care of their welfare for oh, the time that okay. they are going to be here for the prayer to whatever, therapy. Whatever. Okay, but um, considering your schedule, I will say, brother, be led by the spirit, you know, to make available whatever God touches your heart to, uh, just for us to start. Exactly, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will drop uh, five million cash mm -hmm. now. But I have it in dollars, I don't know. Oh, but, uh, you, you, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not a problem. The way this ministry is set up, I don't touch cash. Oh. I don't touch money. Yeah, um, uh, Pastor, you, you will take him to the finance department. Uh, uh, the, the man in charge there is waiting to attend oh, to you. Okay, okay. okay, thank you so very much for you know, visiting <laughs> us today. Yeah. Uh, we would like to pray with you okay. as you're in the presence of God this day. Our Heavenly Father, uh, we commit this brother into your mighty hands. Father, we thank you for bringing him here because it's not man but the Holy Spirit that has led him to us. Father, do not let him go back on his words. Amen. Father, you're going to provide for him to meet up his promises. Amen. Bless his resources, bless his finance, bless his family. Continue to provide to him according to the multitude of his needs. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You're blessed, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Pastor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take him. Let's All right. All right. God works in mysterious ways. Did you hear that? Wow. There is work to do. Yes. So we have to move now. Yes. We bless God. Can I get it louder? Amen. 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 Our God is good. All right. Um, we're going to go see the sick people that he has brought yes. in yes. the presence of God. Right. Um, please, you all have to wait. Uh, let us attend to some people outside and we'll come back and we'll be with you. Thank you very much. Uh, please get all the other pastors. Let us go. Once ill, but you're now well. Deliver us. Let the door of hope. Let the door of good health open for this one. Let the door of everything that is good open for this one. Almighty God, in Jesus' name. Pastor Silas, how far? Ah, how far? You. Eh? Welcome. Thank you. Uh, well done. See, God has instructed me to fast and pray for three days. Three and days. today is the last day. Ah, I believe that since today is the last day, 
This is the last day of these people's problem. Amen. 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 The evil spirit that had entered these ones, but we removed Amen. it. Amen. Throw it. Amen. 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 Uh, by the way, there's a uh, Jew and Pastor David. Um, Jew took uh, Pastor David to the psychiatric hospital. You know, he became uh, violent afterwards. I know, I know. No, uh, it, it was a, a case of transfer of evil spirit from the mad people to these men of God. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. But uh, today, it, it, it is all over. Amen! They were not in the state of purity and grace before they attempt to uh, uh, perform the miracle. Hmm. And that was what actually happened. Hey. But since my God is living, yes. God has instructed us to fast and pray and we have done it. Today is the last day of their problem. Amen. So pray for your husband. Okay, Today is the day. Yes. The day of yes. miracle. Our Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, the originator of everything. Let these ones receive their healing. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. So honey, tell me, how did it happen? No, no. Forget about that. Mm -mm, tell me now, I want to know. Mm? Just don't bother, I don't need to know that. Why now? I want to know everything. No, no, no. Happened. Must you know? Must you know what happened? Am I not your wife? I deserve to know. Okay, so you taunt me with it that I was once a madman, right? What are you talking about? Even if you were mad, am I not here? Am I running away? Oh, that was a plan. To run away, right? Then go ahead and run. I said, go ahead and run. And see how fast other women will just come and take your position. That's right. Oh. Yes. That is your plan. I should do fast and run away. So that other women will come and take my position. You're not okay. I wish Pastor Silas didn't heal you. You would have just been sick in there. Okay, that was your plan, right? So that you go and marry another man, right? Eh? God forbid that your stupid plan in Jesus' name. Amen. May God also forbid that your stupid plan in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll have your time. Jesus Christ. Women. Ah. Honey. <laughs> yes. That, that land certificate, uh, where, where is You said you, it's in your room, right? Honey. Yes, yes. Pay attention now. I'm paying attention the now. The land certificate, is this still is in your room? Oh, the cert yes, now in my room, I told you now. The drawer in my room, they are there. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you know that Mr. Kong was supposed to receive that paper today? I can always send them tomorrow. No big deal. Listen, honey. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? Oh, pains everywhere. Oh. Now you, Sabio. Oh. Nobody sent you to go and deliver demon infested people. You're here making noise. You go. I don't blame you. I don't blame you because you don't know what it means to be a pastor in the vineyard of the Lord. You don't know how many demons we get confronted with every day from different background, different tribal identity, all kinds of places. Demons that we see every day. You don't know how it feels for me, an agile man like me, to sit in this house every day and be, and be eating, sleeping, waking up, looking at your face, just like that. You don't even know. You don't care. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to call me a housewife? Ha! <sighs> God. Uh, no problem. No problems. I will go out there tomorrow and get myself a job. You know what I used to do. You know what I can do and what I can't do. I Don't did. blame you. That is not what I'm trying to say. Okay. So what are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is that we all have to control our mouths and that everybody needs to cool down, you know? And especially you, you need to be more caring. You are a wife. You, are, you should be more caring. This is not the, the woman I married some years ago. Look at this man. Pastor said it. You people were not in the spirit. Why won't you be in the spirit? 
Every night you stay awake, you leave the room, you walk out and go, and you tell me you're going to fast and pray. And yet demons come and take over. I beg, please. Forget Pastor Silas. What does he mean by we're not in the spirit? If you were in the spirit, the demons wouldn't have entered you. Okay. Remember the other time that that demon, that demon that was speaking vernacular, was, was disturbing everybody. Very strong demon. Was it not me who stood up? Who stood up? And, and I did, and I cast the demon. The demon just respected himself and got out. Pastor Silas is here telling you what. He doesn't know what he's saying. Let me tell you, that tell one you. looks like an actor to me. You people, sometimes I don't trust you people. So honey, leave that matter. Honey, behave yourself. I like it indeed. Honey, can you massage me? Because, do, 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 massage, massage, massage. Uh, <laughs> this is it. This uh, is the picture. <laughs> Darling, oh? why is it that you don't always pay attention to my complaints? Sweetheart, you can see I'm in a very meditative mood right now. <clears throat> okay, what's the problem? Pastor David's wife, Dory. I don't know why she has refused to accord me my respect. She's the only one out of the other pastor's wife that has refused to call me Mommy Gio. Is it because of this nonsense modeling thing or because she's the closest to our family? Why would Doreen do that? You don't know. Is she not jealous of me? No, that's not possible. Why, why would she be jealous? You don't even know women at all. You see, you're... You're a woman of God. I expect you to be above all that. Huh? That shouldn't in any way be your worry. Like Besides, someday, as long as the God that we serve keeps us, you're going to be the leader of this great congregation, of our great congregation. Then if you want to be called Mommy Gio or Daddy Gio, it will all be yours. But for now, you know, let's keep our flock together and take it easy. I don't want Daddy Gio. I want her to call me Mommy Gio. Okay. Simple as it is. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Thank you. I'll call her to order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And tell her to call me Mommy Gio. There's peace now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was surprised when my wife uh, told me about your recent attitude towards her. Was that what she told you? Yes. She said you've not been greeting her the way you used to. Isn't it obvious? What is obvious? Isn't it obvious that you, most especially, are insensitive? How do you mean? I sacrificed all I had a long time ago. When you complained about not having enough resources to facilitate your daughter's career when she was at the academy. I gave out the first money I got from my fashion modeling just to cover your share and that of your wife. What has that got to do with the issue on ground now? Didn't I offer to pay you back and you refused? Of course I did. I refused because of the love I felt and still feel for you. I have tried my best to mask it, but I'm sorry. It has gotten to a point where I can no longer hold back. In what ways have I not showed it to you? But you still refuse to notice. I mean, are you the one talking? What way do you want me to show you to you? Take a good look at me. Am I not beautiful enough? 
What are you doing? Tell me, what does your wife have that I do not have? Look at me, you're really more beautiful than her. Stop this. Do you know somebody can badge in here and walk into both of us like this? shouting. You and I know that people don't stray into your office without your due permission. Listen to me, I'm just trying why to let you know. Why are you? Why are you doing this? I'm trying to prove myself. Don't you, you don't have to prove anything. Jesus Christ. Listen to Stop! me. Stop! Now leave my office. Leave my office. No, wait, I will. God, I rebuke you! What is it, Pastor David? What is it? What is happening? Why everybody are just wrong? Well, now you the general overseer. Yes. You are the Jew. Well, I'm a Muslim. I said, well, it's going. Well, for your church now, I see this thing. And I said, they look at him and say, now, more, but more open and let's go. And all the time, the Lord is good. Wave unto the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please, um, bring down your leg. It's affecting the man of God here. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. If you know that you are not clean, please don't go and see him. Because you will die. That's true. You will die. Fire will burn you. Fire will burn you. Stay there. Now, if you know that you have committed anything like, 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 uh -huh. please leave here. Go and wash yourself before you see our Father. And be clean. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Oh, it's good. A lot of Lord people. <laughs> Just three people. Heaven rejoices today. Wow, praise God. Only three left. It actually means that the, the word of God is, is active and the truth is Just three. dwelling in those. Just so, three. It's no problem. It's, so all of you here now, um, I will, will have pastor, we have to prepare the secretary uh, to, to receive them. So what it means is that everybody seated here it's, is... <laughs> Pastor, we are not discouraged. This is temptation. We, we can never be never discouraged. Be discouraged. Uh, All right, I know. I will wait for have like twelve <laughs> or fifteen. It's okay. I mean, a for sizable God. number here. Yes. yes so yes. Um, at least. I don't have to keep repeating. Mm, you yeah. all here are yeah. very sure it's assumed, that yeah. there is nothing. Rock of ages, swept for me. Let me hide myself in thee. We have about one, two, three, four. Thank you, Jesus. Five, six, seven. It's okay. Thank you, because Jesus. Because it's, 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 it's written in the Bible. Even if it's one person, heaven rejoices. Heaven is with joy. <laughs> seven is okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Just get it done. And... Oh. My church and... <laughs> what is happening? You know, there's something about the devil. The devil, the Bible says he is a liar. And that lying is his native language. I am, I am believing in this thing. Uh, what what is that? You? Thank you so much for being uh, the perfect ones. Thank you so much. So please, now you will... Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you know what? Of all men alive, you are the luckiest. Just one. Heaven is rejoicing. Oh my God. 
awam. Iya, What is it? Did you have nightmare or something? Did you see a, a bad vision? You people are asking him too many questions. Allow the man of God to talk now. Exactly. Everyone is in tears. God is not happy with the bad deeds of men, even among the elect. That is why God is turning his back on mankind. I saw a vision. In my vision, I saw the angels and heavenly hosts in tears crying for the bad deeds of men, especially among the elect. Men should start to seek the face of Almighty God now before it is too late. Jesus, Jesus. My daughter, what is the problem? Daddy, that crusade when you were preaching, you were saying, take it, take it, claim your husband. Daddy, I took it and I claimed my husband only to find out that the husband I claimed was nothing but Satan in, in human form. What happened? Daddy, he beats me. Every day he beats me, slaps me up and down, uses me as a punching bag. Oh, our God does not give us a gift of pain. Rather, that of pleasure. Daddy, I don't understand. When you were praying, at that crusade, were you praying with your eyes closed? Yes, my eyes were closed. Ah, uh, no. You see, when you have some sensitive prayer request, you pray with your spiritual eyes open so that you see the kind of husband that God is sending. Anyway, um, invite your husband to come. Ah, that he's downstairs or he's in the parking lot. He dropped me off. Oh, tell him to come up. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Daddy, did you say you should come upstairs? He wants to see you now. Now. He's coming. How long have you been married? Daddy, just, just a couple of months. Yes, you called me. Are you ready to go? Daddy, this is him. I said bring your husband, not your son. my husband. This is him. Forget his small stature. That is very okay on the other side. Sit down. Sit. Why have you turned your mom into a punch and I mean your wife into a punching bag? Well, is this why you brought me here? Is this why you okay, well, both of you, go and wait for me in my reception. Go and wait for me in my reception. Oh, yeah. Let me let's, attend to let's, some let's more pressing things. Let's, 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 let's go and wait for me. Let's Don't go. worry, go with him. My people, repent before it is too late. The rapture is at hand. They repent. Give your life to God. Repent yes, now. Repent! Repent! Yes. Because the time is near. Yes, repent. 
Repent. God needs your life. Offer it to him. Repent. Yes? Don't tell them that one. Uh -huh. Don't you know that if you keep telling them that, it will scare them from giving their lives to Christ? Uh -huh. Pastor Daniel, Pastor Daniel, we have come here to preach the word of God to invite the last, eh? not, not to argue. Eh? Pastor Daniel, continue preaching your own. Let me preach my own. Ah! Yes. Where are you going again now? I thought we agreed that we should be going to only the most dangerous and sinful places. Yes. Hotel. Yes. Uh -uh. People only come to hotel to relax and, uh, 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 you know. Pastor uh, Daniel. Uh, you don't know that the hotel is the most dangerous place? You don't know that uh, it is in the hotel that you see the most dangerous people? Like thieves, robbers, gamblers, 419 people, especially prostitutes who sell their body for money. I, I, don't you know that our body is the temple of God? Mm. <laughs> Tell me, which sin is greater than tampering with the temple of God? See, we are going in there and bring people to God. Repent! Repent! For the kingdom of God is at hand. 